Hey guys, what's up? It's Heather LaBoss here. I have a very special little thing planned for you guys. Uh, Halloween is around the corner and I thought it would be really fun for us to draw this little skull. So I'm going to be walking you through that. I know my skull is a little bit darker than what a normal skull will look like, but you know what? I wanted to make it a little bit more rawr. <laughs> It's always great to hear you guys' feedback, so let me know if you're excited about me making more art videos for you guys. Are you ready? Let's get into it. Before I begin, I just want to let you guys know that I have a whole bunch of goodies for you guys waiting in my description box, including some photo references and some other cool stuff. I would also like to quickly apologize. I film with a 50mm fixed lens, and I should have used a smaller drawing pad. I'm starting off my drawing by etching in some simple eyes that are imperfect circles that have a little bit of a boxy look to them. When it comes to drawing outlines, I will casually place some basic lines of where I think things should be placed. I am not concerned with trying to get it 100% accurate right away. I really expect to erase and fix as I go. I'm just studying my photo reference and really drawing the curvature of the lines that I see. This skull is a complex structure, so if it is a little bit challenging, there is a complete reason why, but if you're really studying the curves that you see within your photo reference, I really think it's going to help you guys out a lot. Personally, I find that the more I stress out during the initial phase of my drawing, the less likely that I'm even going to finish it. So try not to be a perfectionist, relax, and don't rip your hair out. Right here, I am sketching in the zygomatic bone. This is probably one of the trickiest areas to get right on your skull, but you just gotta go with the flow. I'm drawing this curve in and downwards. Think of it like a model with a high structured cheekbone. Now you're going to connect a line inwards, and this is going to create our maxilla. I know this little part looks weird, you're probably wondering, what is this cat mouth indent looking thing? But I drew it to really help me map out where I wanted the curvature of this area to look like. Now right here, I am drawing in the mandible. Now at first, I drew them way too far away from the maxilla. That little cat mouth thing that I was talking about. Eventually, I ended up going back and fixing this, but try to have those vertical lines closer in. Now I got to the point in my drawing where I was ready to move on. I was pretty much sick and tired of working with my pencil and I just wanted to get started in charcoal. So all I did was just erase out all of my outlines with a kneaded eraser so I could still barely see my lines but they're not on my paper as much. Using my vine charcoal, I went over all of my important line work that I created and I even altered some areas. Then I just went ahead and etched in some basic teeth. I like to think of the first tooth teeth like chiclets for some reason, and the side teeth remind me a lot of Tic Tacs. I know, weird, right? As the teeth get further back, of course they're going to get a little bit smaller, and also you can hide them a little bit behind the frontal teeth. Now things are about to get a little bit crazy up in here, so I'm just taking a cotton round and I am dabbing the vine charcoal all over the skull to create a nice medium gray base. It's going to look a little crazy at first, but I promise we're going to make it work. Now just taking my kneaded eraser, I am carving back in those highlights. You see how the eraser marks are imperfect and irregular shaped? That is exactly what I'm looking for. It's going to make it look a lot more natural when I start to blend, and by the way, it's going to be a lot more easy to blend if you don't have these perfectly cut out crisp lines. I want to pop my eye sockets out, not literally, that's kind of scary. I'm coming back in with my vine charcoal and extending outwards to create a larger eye. I'm going to repeat the process of creating more highlights and this time I will be using my Faber-Castell pencil eraser. I'm also going to be making some adjustments to the shape of this skull, especially the chin area. This thing is like a little chisel. Now it's really time to get in there with my charcoal pencil and define my darkest areas. I'm adding some shading right here to give my skull more depth. It also gives this skull definition, emphasizing the mandible and the maxilla as separate structures. Now at this point I decided I really wanted to push the darks hard in my drawing. So what I did was I took my vine charcoal and I just again I drew over my darkest areas.
I went back in with my pencil eraser and I added highlights. I really focused on popping the outer corners of the eye sockets, the gum line, and the teeth. This really is what pops the drawing together. Gently using the pencil eraser goes a long way. And as you can see, I didn't take off too much charcoal on the teeth, just a touch. It's really like you're carving. Think of that when you're doing the teeth, just carving out little tiny areas. Less is more. For my final touches, I am just taking my pencil eraser again and creating the smallest little details. I added some lightness around the eyes and the nose sockets, as well as inside the sockets. It really helped bring my drawing to life. I'm going to be honest, my school was positioned kind of weird on my paper. It was a little high up, so I just wanted to compensate for that by just using my little Q-tip that was already dirty and creating a shadow underneath. And then I just blended that line out with my fabulous toilet paper. <laughs> And there you go, I really hope this video helped you pick up some charcoal tips, and I am so sorry for some of the inconveniences such as not having the camera as zoomed out as I would have liked. As well. I'm definitely going to take this as a learning experience for me so I can make really great videos for you guys in the future. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if this video helped you uh, learn some more things about charcoal because I really want to help you guys out as much as possible. If there's any feedback or suggestions you could give for me, I would love to hear them. What are you guys doing on Halloween, by the way? I'm very curious because I don't really have anything planned yet. I mean, it's really sad because every year I think that I'm going to have this cool costume that nobody else has and I'll go to this awesome party and meet interesting people and that never happens. So, but we could do this drawing tutorial together, right? So if you're at home alone and you have nothing to do on Halloween, you can draw the skull with me. We'll be best of buddies, because <laughs> I'll probably be doing the same thing. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the great feedback, and I will be seeing you guys soon. Mwah!